In this case, the chief warden of the Mutt Hostel has now been detained. So finally, the police seems to be acting after the lookout circular against Shivamurti Sharanaru. Now the chief warden of the Mutt Hostel has been detained by the police. The police, of course, there questions being raised. Uh, my colleague Sagai Raj was asking the police over there why they haven't yet questioned the chief pontiff of the Mutt. They're saying that they're collecting evidence that when they have sufficient evidence, they will move forward against all the accused in this case. Now, of course, some movement forward because of the growing outrage from the people, the common people out in the streets in Karnataka. The chief warden of the Mutt Hostel has now been detained. We'll try and get you more details about this detention which has been made by the Karnataka police. Remember, there is mounting pressure on the police to, in fact, act in this case. My colleague Sagai Raj is now joining me live on this. Sagai, of course, we'll try and connect with Sagai. He is, of course, uh, speaking to many of those uh, players. In fact, as far as this entire matter is concerned, on the ground in Chitruzurga, bringing us all of those latest details, that police reaction as well, when the police said that they're collecting evidence, more evidence, uh, before they, of course, act against the accused. What more evidence do they need? Because these are very serious allegations which have been leveled by two minor girls who have gone to the police with their complaint. Why haven't they yet questioned or detained the chief pontiff of the Chitradurga Mutt is the question. But news coming in right now that the chief warden of the Mutt Hostel has been detained by the police. We'll get you more details on that. So after the Karnataka police issued a lookout circular against Shivamurti Muruga Sharanaru at various immigration points as a precautionary measure, the first detention which has been made by the police in this case, the chief warden of the Mutt Hostel detained. My colleague Sagai is with me right now. Sagai is joining me from Chitradurga. Sagai, give us more details about this. The chief warden of the Mutt Hostel has been detained. Yes, what we get to learn from the superintendent of police, Parshuram, uh, is that uh, Rashmi, who is a warden in that particular mud, has been uh, taken for questioning. So they have not confirmed whether, whether it is a detain, detain or arrest. They have only confirmed that she has been taken for questioning. So questioning is happening. Some move in this particular case, probably the first move uh, when it comes to the uh, side of Sierra and other accused who are involved in this particular Poxo case. So far, they hadn't questioned anybody, including Seer Shivamurti Sharanaru. But now, there is some headway where they have uh, uh, taken uh, Rashmi for questioning. And we have also confronted the superintendent of police, Parshuram. He said that investigation is happening. It is not that we have to arrest or detain the people immediately after an FIR has been registered. We can see in the visuals, uh, senior officers are walking out of uh, uh, the court hall where Basavarajan who said to be one of the alleged conspirators behind the, this Poxo case is present inside the court where he has appealed for a regular bail. The judge has asked him to appear in person if he requires a bail. Now he is there inside and the security has been beefed up. Now the SP is also at the court hall where the high profile case hearing is going on inside the court. So we need to wait and watch uh, uh, how the court uh, will turn around as uh, uh, the first person is being taken uh, for questioning by the police. Right, so Sagai, Rashmi also was one of those who was named as an accused by the complainants in this case when that FIR was registered. So what you're telling us is that she's just been detained at the moment for questioning. She hasn't been arrested. Absolutely. Even SP went on to say that they didn't detain him, they didn't arrest her. Uh, they have, uh, he has said that uh, he's only been taken for questioning. That, uh, she is to subject a question where they will be questioning her uh, in this particular case. Remember, she is also the complainant when it comes to Baswarajan SK's case where she has uh, filed an FIR against Baswarajan uh, uh, stating uh, there was a rape allegations against him. He had tried to rape and uh, uh, molest him. And uh, after that, uh, uh, now uh, Baswarajan has reached out the court. Now, probably uh, Rashmi might be a major headway in this particular case because uh, she is a warden. She is very close to the Mutt Seer, and she was the person who has held, uh, who was uh, handling the hostel in uh, in the Mutt. So, probably in this particular case, the first headway where they have taken uh, Rashmi for questioning. Right. Also, uh, Sagar, give us a sense, and our viewers who are of course tuning in at the moment. 
what the complainant had said about Rashmi's alleged role in this crime. See, uh, Rashmi is a warden. She was a suppose. Uh, she was a, a lady who uh, was supposed to take care of uh, the children inside that particular girl's warden. And she was the main person. She is accused number two in this uh, uh, Boxo case. And she was a person who was supposed to take care of them. But according to the complainant, she was helping the seer whenever he was uh, allegedly accusing, uh, sorry, allegedly assaulting them sexually and raping this girl. So she was the main person, despite knowing that the crime was happening she was backing him so she, if she would have uh, uh, if she would have stopped they, this wouldn't have happened so these were the uh, uh, these were the complaint things uh, complaints uh, uh, details which was been mentioned in the FIR the complainant uh, includes uh, these two kids uh, who have alleged that uh, they were being sexually assaulted by seer and yes uh, Rashmi is the warden who was helping the seer and also sending these girls to his place Right. Also, give us a sense of the complaint that Rashmi has filed against Basavarajan. What has she alleged? See, there are two cases which has been registered. One FIR initially registered at Mysuru of Poxo that everybody knows against Seer uh, Rashmi and two other people. Following that, there was a counter complaint which was been registered by Rashmi. Uh, remember, Baswarajan was a former administrator in uh, Burger Rajendra Swami Mutt. So, they believe that Baswarajan is the main kingpin who have conspired against the mud and who had motivated and in, uh, uh, brainwashed these uh, girls to file an FIR uh, uh, against Swamiji. Uh, following that, they had filed a counter complaint uh, uh, against uh, Basavarajan stating, uh, stating that he has uh, raped Rashmi as well as uh, they kidnapped the kids from the hostel. Not only him, even they have filed affair against Sobhagya, the wife of Basavarajan. As we speak now, the case, the bail hearing is happening inside uh, the Chitradurga court hall where Basavarajan and his wife uh, Saubhagya are physically present because the court has denied that they will not be able to give bail until unless they appear in person. Now they have come here. Sagar, just stay on with us. Dr. Raghavendra, who is an activist, is joining us on the phone line right now. Dr. Raghavendra, thank you so much for speaking with India today.